Hello out there in AutoCAD land. Uh, here we are uh, presenting another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007 3D stuff. And I had a question on one of my blogs uh, from my buddy Panos who was asked if we could do a CAD clip on um, applying a polyline profile along the edge of a solid and the answer of course is yes by all means and the tools we'll use um, we'll just use the sweep tool so I've got the completed project here I'm just gonna switch over into a um, little different mode to make it look nice but what we can do is we can go and take a profile okay and take a profile just a closed polyline like this okay we can take that shape and we can um, sweep that along an edge of a solid like over here and we end up with something that looks like this okay I'm going to do a shift middle mouse button pan over okay so there we we see we can take I'm going to use my control button to bury that down there and not have it um, dock um, there's the profile here's the solid and there's the sweep now the key here is where your base point is on your profile uh, of your polyline and the polyline we're going to also draw a polyline around the top edge of this object and uh, and the direction for which the polyline goes is significant you'll see that there's a bit of trial and error and then over here I've done the same type of thing where I've taken this shape over here and then swept that along the edge of this object and then I end up with that type of effect shift middle mouse button over there okay so all different ways that we can do this so I'm just going to go back here to a, a top view and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to move this. Now I need, I, I have a polyline that's underneath there. I'm going to say M for move and use a shift space bar to toggle between. Oh, that didn't do it. I thought I had a polyline under there. Okay. And apparently I don't. So that's not a problem. So I'll draw a new one. I'm going to go back to be wireframe and top view here. And I'm just going to draw some lines. I'm going to go line, you know, to start from scratch. Doesn't matter. Okay, and then maybe I'm going to go in here and say, you know, fill it radius one, radius that, maybe fill it this, you know, give it a bit of style. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take these and join them into one polyline. So I'm going to use my P edit and grab this and join all of these up and hit enter, enter. Now I have a closed polyline. I can go back to my 3D view. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that and I'm going to use my great push press pull or we can extrude it but I'm going to use press pull and I'm going to hover over here and I'm just going to pick and drag that polyline up and then I'm going to take it and move it over here now I, I've also got that polyline there I'm going to take this polyline and move it from the end point of there up to there now remember I kind of drew that polyline in this direction okay and sometimes uh, you have to play with the direction of the polyline itself Okay, but there is now a polyline up there. So I can take any, this is again just a closed polyline, doesn't matter where it is, located in plan. Okay, and I'm going to go in now and I'm going to um, sweep that along the edge using that polyline. If I wanted, I could, you know, erase this and redraw my polyline, it doesn't matter. Okay, as long as you have an edge, a polyline along that edge. Okay, and the next thing I usually do is give this a little bit of color or something like that just for the heck of it. Make it show up a little nicer. Maybe go with the blue. Okay, close that off. Okay, maybe I'm going to put myself on a different layer. So then when that sweep gets created, it comes in on a different layer and a different color. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to use my sweep tool. Sweep. It's going to say select an object to sweep so I'm going to pick on here and I'm going to hit enter S select the path well I'm going to hover over here and use my shift space bar to toggle okay object cycle to get the right object I hit and enter and it sweeps that object around there okay okay now 
and that's really it the only thing is you might not get the result you want right away because of the way this object is drawn and the direction of the polyline okay if we go back to our top view okay you might try experimenting by you know maybe mirroring this over here and then erasing this guy and then try and and just see what your result will be in this case okay let's erase this okay let's do another sweep here enter shift space bar to toggle okay enter and then notice that it swept it but it swept it on the wrong going on the wrong side now maybe that's what you wanted okay the other option of course is to play with your base point command do a sweep pick this enter and then type B for base point and maybe make this be the base point and then shift space bar to toggle through enter and you might get a different result because I've moved my base point okay so base point when you do this okay gonna go in perspective mode here and kind of look neat okay so when you do your sweep make sure you have a polyline it doesn't have to be closed as long as you have a polyline along the edge and when you go to sweep that object um, you can use your base point option you can scale and twist and maybe go review we have a separate uh, CAD clip just on the sweep uh, tool itself okay but the key here any solid object all you have to do is trace around it with a polyline and then sweep your um, polyline closed polyline profile around that using base point and that's about it you end up with a cool kind of parapet effect like this if that's kind of what you were looking for